Good morning, folks. Good morning. Thanks for uh, taking the time to be here. I'm also here to speak about the uh, permit for uh, Seven Springs Water Company. And some of you may remember me from 2005 to 2009 on the past president of North San Diego River. And I used to come here with me. And I've been concerned. And I'm still concerned. I'm probably more concerned now than I was then because of what I've seen that's going on. And my daughter-in-law was raised in the river there too. So uh, we go along history there. The water levels are low and uh, they've been low for a while now for the river. Uh, Nestle's a foreign company that doesn't really care about uh, our community. They like getting the water, but they're just trying to earn money for their investors. And all over the world we've seen where they've come in and they've bought water supplies. And we've seen the degradation that's happened down in Zephyr Hills, up in Michigan, out west. Where they so um, that's why I'm here today to, to speak. Right now, they're expanding their water bottling plant. I hope that is not a reason for you folks to decide that they get to uh, continue their permit. It could just be a, a bad investment for a billion dollar company. That was their decision to do that. Um, and Nestle CEOs have said that uh, water should just be enough water per person to sustain life. And then after that, they should pay for everything they get, which I find very ironic because Nestle goes into these places and does not pay for the water. They pay taxes on the plant, which could be a plant that doesn't take our resources, but they don't pay for it. If we do get to a point where they are paying for it, they should have to pay a whole lot for it because this is our resource. This is our water and our resource. I just have one last thing, and it might be a, a unique thought, but what do you think about this idea? Water Park, some of our great scientists here, calculated how much water was out of Jenny Springs. And once Nestle and Jenny Springs use that amount of water, they don't get any more water. They can't even brush their teeth. Because if you go out and you were to buy a mountain of gold, or let's say coal, and you use up that coal, that's it. You're done selling coal. So if they use up all the water that's underneath them, then that's it. So it's just a, a little out-of-the-box thought. You know, I'm counting on you folks to do the right thing, consider the thing. I know a lot of people here, and I know you've got good science. So thank you for your